So you want to get down to bedrock as fast as you can. Maybe you want to mine at the low levels for diamonds, or maybe you want to create a slime farm and you haven't got time to dig it all out with a pick or a shovel. Well, don't you go anywhere. I've got something that's going to help you. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, depending on what time you're watching this next tutorial from me, Avamance. And today, we're going to do a fairly quick one, really. Have you ever needed to get down really fast? You don't want to dig one block by one block by one block. You want to get down fairly fast, as fast as you can. Maybe you want to go mining at level 10 for diamonds, or maybe you want to make a slime farm and you want to clear out a whole load of stuff all the way down to level zero. Well, today I'm going to help you do that with a really, really simple redstone contraption that you are going to love. If you enjoy this video, please do make sure you smack that like button very, very hard, like you don't like it very much. Smack it till it turns blue, and I will look forward to seeing your name in my sub club. So no further ado, let's get on with this tutorial. So the first thing you've got to do is decide why are you digging down into the bowels of hell? Are you just one of these people that likes to go really, really deep? Are you someone that wants to go mining for diamonds and you want to go down to kind of 10 and under, which is where the best diamonds are? Or are you wanting to create something like a slime farm or an underground farm? Well, if it's a slime farm, you are going to need to make sure you are mining in a slime chunk and you can find what your slime chunks are because only about one in 10 of your chunks are going to be slime spawners. You can find that on a website such as Chunkbase or something like that. Put in your Minecraft seed. That will tell you where your slime chunks are and you'll make sure you cut out the right 16 by 16 square. Otherwise, you're going to have a really, really bad fun. So whatever that is, get to the edge of the chunk or not and come back five blocks. And on that sixth block, I want you to put down a hopper. Then come backwards, go into crouch, Put a hopper going into that hopper, get rid of your first hopper, come around, go into crouch, and put a hopper going into that hopper. Then in any one of the hoppers, stick a bit of stone or a block or a bit of dirt or something like that. And you can see it's flashing on and off and on and off and on and off. And that's because it is bouncing backwards and forwards between the two hoppers. And if you're getting dizzy, that's good. Turn it off with a lever and you'll see now that that has locked and it isn't bouncing anywhere whatsoever. And that's, we need it to be able to lock like that because the function of this system depends on it. We need to be able to suck the signal out, so stick a comparator there. That ain't gonna give very much signal, so stick a repeater right there. Then next to that repeater, you wanna get yourself a block. Now I'm telling you now, do not get a block that is expensive or difficult to craft or anything like that. This is not a pretty thing you are about to build. It is a functional thing, it does it once, and then it's basically left in the way or you need to deconstruct it. So don't spend loads of time making it look pretty. It just is not worth it. And then make this 10 high. So if I can get up, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Then come back down and opposite side of the um, comparator and repeater come up one block and stick a nodule out come up another block stick a nodule out you can see we're making like that zip um, shape coming up like that then stick one more on the top of that then knock out that block that is next to the nodule bit coming out so you're creating a nice zigzag then get yourself a redstone torch and put a redstone torch on the side of every block like this just like that and then come around the back and put a redstone torch on the side of each of those blocks as well and you'll notice this redstone torch turns off that's because we've created a series of knot gates and that torch is powering that block which therefore turns that torch off which isn't powering that block which therefore allows that torch to burn that continues up all the way to the top and you have yourself a nice climbing system of redstone with this torch being on then get a stone brick slab and i want you to come out from here with 10 slabs so we're going to go out one two three four five six seven eight whoops eight nine and ten so we're 10 slabs out then we're going to get ourselves a dispenser and that dispenser is going to go upside down on this slab like that 
Okay, and then we're going to come out another five, which is one. Well, we've got to go into crouch, remember, to get this into the dispenser. So one, two, three, four, and five. And then, did that actually five? I don't think it did, did it? No, it didn't. That's a cheeky slab. And five, like that. And then we're going to get another dispenser, and we're going to put that upside down on that one as well. And then we're going to come out sideways from this dispenser with, you've guessed it, five. And then we're going to create a star shape around this dispenser. So I'm going to be back when I've done that. So we've got a system that looks very much like that. We've got a nice star shape going around and we are going to add some redstone. So come down here and go one straight off of that torch, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then the one before this here, before that dispenser, stick down a repeater. Then get some more redstone. You'll need to go into crouch for that, stick it over there. And then you're just carrying on, putting your redstone all the way along, going to crouch whenever you go over a dispenser. And you'll hear the click, which tells you that that dispenser is reading that redstone, which is what we're trying to achieve. Okay, so all the way to this side as well exactly like that and then we're going to come and just check that the clock works and we're going to just tick that lever off like that and we can see that those torches are sending a pulse along and up and along that stream there you've got a pulse going on and off and on and off and on and off so let's just lock that off again because we don't want to do anything with that at the moment and then it's really really simple we need to come and get our drilling materials which I've got in this chest so let's get this chest open and you've guessed it we of course have got um, loads and loads of TNT so let's get this TNT into our inventory and we're going to go and put two stacks of TNT into each of these things now you can fill this up if you want I have absolutely no issue with that I'm just putting two stacks in because I happen to have 10 stacks of TNT in that chest and down onto this last one and that is our system primed ready and very very dangerous yes I know I told you not to bother making it look all nice and pretty and I just went ahead and made it look like it was a proper construction rather than something that we knocked up to do a thing. But you know what? I don't care. It's my build. I can do what I want. It's my time. You do what you want with your time. Happy days. But what we've got to do is see whether it works and that bit is dead easy. We have got to basically flick that switch and hope to god we don't blow up the world so shall we have a go let's have a crack at it but i'm very nervous because whenever you play with tnt there is always the potential for something to go horribly wrong but we are going to flick this lever and that is going to start i hope to release the tnt from up there and we're going to drill a blooming great big hole in this place i hope let's get on with it fingers crossed let's flick that and we should see TNT coming out there. Yep, there we go. That's the first lot. It's going to go very badly. I have a horrible feeling it's not going to go well. So that's cooking big holes. You can see that's doing really quite nicely, actually. It's cooking loads of big holes. And it has gone just not quite to where we have built our system, So, which is exactly what we want. We were enough um, chunks and blocks away to not have an issue with bashing off and exploding the whole drilling rig and you can see in there that is drilling down very nicely thank you very much now there's always going to be the need to do some tidying up when you've got one of these systems but actually in reality that is doing really quite well so let's wait look it didn't even kill the sheep did it mr sheep no it didn't let's wait for that to finish and we have now got a blooming great big hole so let's just turn this off simply to avoid the ticking there's no tnt left we have put 128 from each dispenser of tnt and let's see the devastation that has created we have got a blooming great big hole that has drilled miles down oh my goodness look at that now we hit a lot of lava it looks like but we've managed to get ourselves down 
a long long way so uh let's just see where do we go so we keep going and we keep going and we keep going and we keep going and we keep going that ain't too shabby so we've managed to get down to with just two um things of tnt down to this level down here which is pretty low let's have a look so that's function f3 we are down at level 12 level 12 people so this is very much very very much diamond level mining so you've got to be pleased with that that's going to save an absolute fortune of time for people that want to dig down to bedrock and you are welcome one pretty blooming quick drilling rig and if you spread those fingers out ever so slightly remember to make sure that you push it further away from your column otherwise you will blow your column up you can see in the background there we are not that far away from our column and that is deliberate because you didn't go that far away from the edge of the chunk so if you want to extend the fingers out a little bit further to make a bigger hole make sure you bring it further away from the column at the same time or you're going to have all kinds of problems so there we go what a blooming great big hole very pleased with that if you've enjoyed this video please do make sure you slap that like button very very hard for me i would love 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 to see your name in my sub club and notification squad so make sure you hit that sub button and notifications bell for me and i will look forward to seeing you in another video you take it easy now bye